folks. Today I'm going to go ahead and try a crock pot recipe for you. My famous ham chowder. Um, we're going to go ahead and do diced, um, probably like if you have three big potatoes or if you want to do five or six small ones. And the sizes are going to be about this big. We're going to do ham, rustic size, about this big. And I went ahead and did um, probably the same amount, like two cups worth. And then I'm going to dice up half of an onion. I'm going to go ahead and throw everything into the pot and let it simmer for a couple hours. Well, I can see it. And then at the very end, I'm going to put the carrots in because we don't want the carrots in in the beginning because then they'll get too soft. I'm going to go ahead and put um, processed cheese in probably like a cup, maybe a cup and a half. We'll just see as we go because remember how I, how I told you about tasting things and seeing as you go, just testing it out. We're going to do about a tablespoon of salt. I'm going to do a half a tablespoon of pepper. Great flavor. So, and then couple teaspoons. If you want to do fresh garlic, usually I do, but I didn't have it today. So I'm just going to do about a teaspoon or two of garlic. And I'm going to let it sit for a couple, like an hour or so, come back and start, and then we're going to check on it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check on this. It's been sitting for about, I don't know, two hours or so. And the potatoes are just the way that I want them, soft. But I'm going to add a little bit more cheese because I like cheese. So I probably did a cup and a half of cheese total. And I'm going to add some, like I was saying, carrots at the end because they cook quicker. So we want to put them at the very end. I don't know if sometimes whenever you eat meals, sometimes you have extra corn or beans. A good thing to do is just to put them in a bag, throw them in the freezer for little things, just like this, putting them into soup. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a little bit longer. But multitasking is our thing. So now what we're going to do is our Jiffy Mix. I kind of got this recipe from a buddy. This is uh, one of my friend Brandy's Tom's, her husband, and he kind of makes a cream cheese the cornbread mixture, and it is amazing. So I'm going to do cornbread. I did about three ounces of cream cheese or so. We're going to do one egg, a third of a cup of milk, and you know, as I said before, if it's not thin enough, you might add a little bit more milk. Put a little bit of cheese in it, mix it up, put it in my pan. And I went ahead and preheated my oven to 400 and it's going to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. And this is going to be so good. You can add jalapenos to it to give it a little bit of spice. Just Amazing. Oh, that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. And we'll check back in 20. All right, I kind of want to show you the consistency of this soup. See how it's really runny? So what we're going to do, sometimes people make roux and it's just the butter and the flour and then you add the milk and all that. Well, I don't do that. I do it a little different of a way. First, I'm going to drain some of this water. I'm just going to take like a, a cup or so because it's a lot of water or a lot of juice. Let's get a big old full cup. Woo! Okay. And I am going to replace that with... some flour and water and so what I do is I put the water on high I grab some of my flour a fork and I get like I don't know a tablespoon or two two fork bowls add it to the water a little bit Whoop. Sir, 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 sir. Ooh, I don't want that much. 
I definitely don't want a whole lot. I don't want it to be too runny. Let's get another quart full of flour. Make that three quart full of flour. And that's how I make my roux. I go ahead and I pour it in here. And it gets all thick and creamy because the potatoes are kind of breaking up because we left them pretty good bite size. So, and the cheese is gonna thicken up because I put some extra cheese in there. So I did like a cup and a half, almost two cups probably, of that processed cheese. We went ahead and waited to the end to put our corn and our carrots in because it doesn't take that long for them to cook. Our cornbread is going on. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar on top of that because cornbread and sugar, ooh, girl, it's good. So I'm gonna go ahead, cover this up. I'm gonna put a little sugar on it. I'll see you back in just a bit. Okay, so our bread is done. Let's give the old coat test. Yep, coming out clean. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out some of our soup, plate it up. Oh, this looks great. Good old hearty bowl of this. I'm gonna go ahead and make a sandwich it with it. That's what I do because I like to dip a turkey sandwich in mine. So I'm gonna use sourdough bread today. I'm gonna cut sourdough in half. I'm gonna use Swiss cheese, some lettuce, I just get regular processed turkey breast. We'll lay it on there like so, pretty like. Soup and sandwich. Doesn't that look great? Just a soup and sandwich. And I'm gonna put a little piece of cornbread on the side. Oh, this cornbread is just great. You're gonna love it. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's cheesy, and you can't get wrong, go wrong with any of those things. Oh, it smells wonderful. You would just have to be here to see this. Look at this. It is just wonderful. So these are my recipes to you. Please come back and see some of these easy, simple, quick, in a crock pot, no mess. I mean, what an easy recipe. So come see me again. See you later, alligator.